Hi everyone and welcome to my talk about how to innovate in the WordPress page builder business. We'll talk about this today. Uh, it will not be a step-by-step -step tutorial, not by a long shot, but rather an insight on how we approach Team Breezy, some of the problems related to website creation in this uh, WordPress builder era. When I started to put this presentation together, a question kept popping into my mind, one that I got frequently uh, when we launched Breezy. Why launch a new WordPress page builder when there are plenty options already available? I think that innovation, or rather proposing new solutions to some persistent usability, UI and user experience problems might be the answer. Nevertheless, I hope my talk today will put a spotlight on this question and I hope by the end we'll find an answer together. Before we get started, let's set some expectations. My goals here today are to present what Breezy brings to the WordPress page builders table in terms of new solutions and innovations. I think the user experience should be at the top of the priority list when you are developing software like this. And I want us to take a deeper dive into Breezy's UI and user experience, and maybe more important, what was the thinking behind choosing to do things in a certain way or another? And ultimately, present how we approach the development from the ease of use and user experience perspective. If you'll stay till the end, you'll also find our new idea that is unique to Breezy, that blurs the lines between WordPress and static cloud technologies. This session is about uh, 20, 30 minutes or so. The presentation you are about to see is pre-recorded, so please put the questions in the chat and I'll try to address them as we move along. I'll kindly ask you to keep the questions on the topic, so no tech support in this session. For that, please visit, uh, visit our website. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Dimi, one of the founders here at Breezy. And uh, if you're not familiar with Breezy, it is a WordPress page builder that helps you create websites uh, with no coding required uh, and without effort. I'm one of the designers here and I was super excited when Nathan approached me about this talk and I jumped at the opportunity to talk to you about uh, these areas, especially because the user experience and, and the UI I think are key when you develop uh, software like, uh, like a page builder. A bit about my background. Uh, I've been working with WordPress since 2009 and uh, in the web business in different agencies as, an, as a freelancer since uh, early 2000. Let's go to the presentation. Enjoy. How to innovate in the WordPress page builder business. Look, I'll be honest, I can't tell you how to, to do it. I can't tell you how to innovate if you decide to start working on a, a website builder or any kind of software for that matter. I think no one can. And ultimately, innovation should not be what you should chase anyway. What you should be focusing on is creating the best product you can, something that you are proud to sell to your customers and to recommend to family and friends. At least this is what our goal is here at Breezy. Hi everyone, I'm Dimi, one of the founders here at Breezy, and although I uh, wear uh, a lot of hats as part of my job, uh, the one I like the most is the designer one, and since I'm uh, partially responsible for the Breezy UI and uh, user experience, today we'll uh, deep dive into that for a little bit. Just a small uh, disclaimer before we start, uh, don't freak out if you see me in the chat. Uh, I'm not superhuman or anything, uh, that's only because uh, this uh, presentation is pre-recorded, so if you have any questions, please uh, put them there and uh, I'll try to address them as we move along. What you see on the screen is a quote from uh, Michael Eisner. I've started with this because I think uh, it encapsulates perfectly what uh, we are doing with Breezy, and on top of it, uh, we are proposing some new good ideas of our own. And in the next 30 minutes or so, I'll walk you through some of these ideas we've improved upon and also the good new ones that Breezy brings to the table. Let's get started. The first on the list is the workflow. Let me tell you, we've tested 
and studied a lot of website builders across time in WordPress and outside of it. And I think this is key uh, because when you build products, you need to benchmark, you need to see what's out there, what others are doing. One of the area we felt needs improvement is the sidebar work area relationship. There is a disconnect between the sidebar and work area that didn't felt right to us. It's very subtle, but it felt like a disjointed experience. What I mean by this is how you change options in one place, the sidebar, and having your focus and eye constantly moving between the middle of your page, the work area, and the sidebar to see what you are editing. Here is an attention focus map of what I'm talking about. Because the sidebar and work area are apart, the focus is spread between the two. In some cases, it's even worse with more areas that uh, fight for your attention. Another thing to consider here is mouse travel. There is a lot of mouse travel between elements and the options in the sidebar. If you consider this across your entire project, <laughs> let me tell you, you'll, you'll move the mouse a, a lot. Of course, uh, you might argue this is still way better than uh, doing everything in the back end like not so long ago. And uh, of course, you'll, you'll be right. Nevertheless, with Breezy, I think we found a way to keep the focus where it needs to be most of the time, reduce the mouse travel considerably, and enable the users to build their pages a lot faster. Here is how the attention uh, focus map looks in Breezy. That is because over 90% of editing happens right there, close to the element you are working with, in front of your eyes, without that back and forth between the work area and the sidebar. What we've done basically is merging the sidebar and the work area together and bring, bring in, uh, bringing it in front of your eyes. This approach brings tremendous benefits uh, in ease of use and user experience, and I think uh, it's one of the reasons uh, users seem to love uh, the workflow in Breezy. And that brings us to the editing options. How you usually do it when you build a framework that has a lot of editing options like uh, website builders uh, usually do, is you start by creating a pool of all your options like typography, colors, borders, sizes, uh, paddings, margins, and so on. Of course, creating frameworks is uh, way more complex than this, but uh, if we were to simplify it and uh, look at it uh, from a bird's eye perspective, this is what you'll do. Going a bit further, when you create an element, like a button for example, you take from your pool of options and allocate all or maybe part of them to that specific um, element. Now what remains is deciding how you'll show those options to your users. And this is very important from the user experience and ease of use standpoint of view. The easiest way to do it, and uh, most of the tools out there choose to handle it like this, is to put them all in uh, the same place. Uh, it's usually the sidebar. It's convenient um, um, and easy to choose this path because every time you create a new element, you only need to figure out what options it has, and that's it. But I think this approach uh, creates two usability problems. On one hand, it makes it hard to structure options in an easy to use way because we have so many of them with overly complex structure and categories. And on the other hand, everything is thrown at the user at the same time and he, the user, has to figure it out. I, I don't know about you guys, but I always find it hard uh, to navigate the increasing number of options, categories, tabs. Uh, I always forget where they are put when, uh, when they're all in the, same, in the same place. With Breezy, we, we felt we need to take a bit more responsibility in this regard, and we chose to structure the elements a bit differently. We went with a three-level priority system uh, that I'll talk about right now that shows only what's needed for the task at hand and hides everything that's not. Uh, we have the main element toolbar as the first level. The icon, icons you see on the screen uh, represent a category of options with the first icon being the most important one. You'll access the second layer of options uh, on each icon uh, on the main toolbar, and this layer contains uh, over 90% of the most used editing options from typography, colors, sizes, and more. 
And the third and final layer is in more settings in the sidebar on the right hand side. This layer contains uh, margins, paddings and more advanced options like uh, custom CSS, HTML IDs, Z-index and, uh, and so on. I think that layering the editing option this way helps the ease of use and the user experience a lot. And uh, maybe more importantly, it avoids the overwhelming feeling you might get uh, with having everything thrown at you at the same time. Let's talk about flexibility. One of the things you need to consider when creating a website builder is, of course, flexibility. Flexibility comes in different forms, but the one I want to tell you about today is uh, elements flexibility. In studying different builders and tools, we've discovered that certain more complex elements like uh, tabs, for example, or accordions are created as monoliths. What I mean by this is the developers decide what options a certain element uh, has, and that's it. The user doesn't have the flexibility to modify it in, in any other way. Let's look at the tabs element, for, uh, uh, for example. Taking this approach, I think uh, it limits the use of these elements because you'll always find cases when you need uh, or want to add uh, a button, an image, or create a different structure uh, in, uh, in, your, uh, in your tabs or accordions. In Breezy, we've approached this differently and created these uh, elements as containers where you can add anything you want in it, uh, from text to buttons, images, and even other columns to create, uh, to create different structures exactly the way you need it. We call this container elements, and uh, here are some examples from Breezy. We have tabs. Here is a tab element example I've put together. As you can see, it's uh, pretty complex. It has uh, columns, uh, text, images, buttons. Uh, and this was the idea uh, to let our users uh, play with and, and use uh, the elements and the tools that they are already using in the builder. So it comes uh, very easy to, to create tabs. You can duplicate them, delete them, uh, Sky is the limit, basically, um, when you work with a tabs element and you can create really cool stuff. Accordions work exactly the same. You can go with something simple with text, but also, uh, as you will see here, I've created tabs in accordions. I went with the two columns uh, and then added uh, some uh, video element in the tab, also some text, a button. The idea is to, to, to let you create anything anything you want in in this uh, special element if i were to showcase element flexibility the timeline element is perfect for this you have a multitude of options to 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 play with the timeline element and i'll let you discover those on your own but i can't help to imagine what it would take to put all these options in a sidebar. Lastly, I want to show you the mega menu we have in Breezy. We call it the mega menu builder that respects the same principle as all our container elements. You can add anything you want in it and build very cool mega menus. You see, flexibility is always great to have, and I think uh, we found a great solution to remove some hurdles and uh, empower users to create what they want and need with this container element. What's a website builder without responsive control? Let's talk about responsiveness. This area is another area where we chose to take a, a different approach. We chose to instance every device, so anything you change in the tablet view, for example, will stay only there. And that goes for mobile as well. You can look at it like uh, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas kind of a deal. How this is usually tackled in the industry is... Um, yeah, you might have guessed it, uh, the answer is the sidebar. Uh, all the responsive options are put in the same sidebar with all the other options, which brings another layer of uh, complexity in there for the user to figure out. 
in Breezy, it, it all starts with uh, changing to mo mobile or tablet views. And in these uh, views, uh, we pass down only part of the options from desktop and everything you modify will be instanced and stay only there. Colors, background images, spacings, typography, structure changes or maybe column swapping or element hiding and so on. I think this is the right approach to tackle the responsive part. It is very easy to understand and because we pass only part of the options from desktop, you don't get the feeling that you need to go through all the options all over again, but only adjust the ones that make sense to be there. And last but not least, the bridge between WordPress and cloud. You see, the Breezy Builder is developed on React and because the foundation is very strong and flexible, that enabled us to create Breezy Cloud. Breezy Cloud is a free hosted platform. It's managed by us and powered by the Breezy Builder. It is outside of WordPress environment and it's aiming to provide a more streamlined experience when you create your websites, be it uh, landing pages or multi-page websites. Just to give you an easy way to understand what Breezy Cloud is, when you think about Breezy Cloud, think uh, Wix, Squarespace or Webflow, only you can start using it today and it's free. <laughs> you may wonder, why am I talking about a hosted cloud platform that is not in WordPress environment in a WordPress presentation? And the simple answer is Breezy Sync. This feature bridges the gap between the Breezy WordPress plugin and the Breezy Cloud platform. By connecting your Breezy account, you can save blocks and layouts in WordPress and move them to Breezy Cloud and the other way around, or access them in another WordPress admin if you connect your Breezy account. This brings, brings flexibility on another level because you can imagine this, you can start a project in Breezy Cloud and move it to WordPress in a matter of minutes or go the other way. You start a, in WordPress, decide that Breezy Cloud is better suited for, for that specific project and move your pages and blocks to Breezy Cloud and continue with the builder there. This is a unique feature that you'll find only in Breezy and it's one of the new good ideas from the quote we started with. That was it. Thanks for being here and uh, for all the questions in the chat. I had a great time answering them. If your question was not addressed, please send it to me via email and I'll get back to you. Here is where you can find me. I've also included uh, our Breezy Facebook community as well as our Twitter account, if you prefer that. We usually tweet updates, uh, announcements about live streams or webinars, uh, usually Breezy related things. But before I go, I want to take a moment and extend a thanks to these guys. Most of you see us as competitors and of course we are, but I also see us as working together pulling together on the same card, so to speak, and that is to further the possibilities of WordPress and empower more and more people to get online daily. The more we pull on that proverbial cart, the better for the industry as a whole. And who knows, maybe competition is among the driving factors of innovation. And that brings our session to an end. Thank you for attending.